Hello, my name is Katia Chavez and I work for the Natural and Social Science Lab at the Miami-Dade College, Kendall Campus. Today, we're going to review a couple of concepts that you need to master in order to progress in your chemistry classes. So we're going to learn what Avogadro's number is, the mole, and the molar mass. So let's start with Avogadro's number. What's Avogadro's number? Avogadro's number is a number. Just like we have the number five, number 20, we have a big number, this number here, 6.02 times 10 to the 23, and that's called Avogadro's number. So imagine, just like we have a dozen, a term that means 12, if I tell you that I want to earn a dozen of dollars, that means that I want to earn $12, right? Now, if I tell you that I want to earn Avogadro's number, that means that I want to earn 6.02 times 10 to the 23 dollars. That's more than a trillion of dollars. So it is a huge number. Now, you know what Avogadro's number is. You can have Avogadro's number of dollars, cars, anything. But since this number is very big, it, it is usually used just for chemists, where they count number of particles. And since particles are really small, this number is very useful to count them. Now that you know that, you need to know what a mole is. And a mole is just another way of saying Avogadro's number. So if you want one mole of dollars, it's the same as, you, as if you were saying that you want to earn 6.02 times 10 to the 23 dollars. If you tell me that you want a mole of lithium atoms, you would be telling me that you want to earn or get 6.02 times 10 to the 23 number of lithium atoms. So this brings a very important point. Whenever you talk about one atom, it's not the same about talking about one mole of atoms. One atom would be just one. One mole of atoms would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23, which means many. Many atoms. Okay? So what do I do to know what a molar mass is? A molar mass is the mass of one mole, by definition. So, going back to my example of atoms, I will choose lithium, just, just for an example, a lithium atom. So what happens if I want to collect one mole of lithium atoms? I would need to go and find 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of lithium, which would take me a lot of time. It's basically impossible. And I would need to put them in a container and put it on a scale. Whatever the reading is, that would be my molar mass. So imagine all the work that I would need to do just to find my molar mass. But I don't need to do that because this is a very important tool that you have in your hands where you can find the molar mass of any compound. What's that tool? That tool is your periodic table. So let's take a look at the periodic table. If we remember, the weight of one lithium atom is written in the periodic table, and they give you a number. They give you 6.941. But what are the units? Because an atom is very small, so the unit, the unit that you need to use is very small. It wouldn't even be pounds. It wouldn't even be grams, because the weight of one single atom is definitely less than one pound. So the unit would be AMU. That means whenever you talk about something very, very small, you're using a small unit, which is AMU. So the weight of one lithium atom is 6.941, the number found in the periodic table, in AMU units. Now what's the molar mass? I mean, the mass of one mole of lithium atoms. Very easy. You just go to your periodic table 
and you read the numerical value of the mass number, and that's 6.941. So that will be your molar mass. But because we're talking about something very big as one mole, one mole is not one atom, one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms. So your units have to be very big as well. And the unit is grams. So whenever you have one mole of lithium atoms, you have the same numerical value, but a different unit, grams. So now you're ready to find any molar mass of any compound. So the molar mass of lithium is 6.941 grams per mole. These are the units of the molar mass. Always remember that, okay? So you're ready to do any problem with this concept and you have to master them. Stay tuned.